What is up everybody? JT Dangerous here once again. I am here to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New Beginning in Tampa 2020 predictions. Now, New Beginning in Tampa happens this Friday, live on NewJapanWorld.com from the St. Petersburg Coliseum in Tampa, Florida. Now, the card for this first show in this New Beginning tour for New Japan Pro Wrestling in Tampa, Florida is solid. We have six big matches, so I am very excited to do my New Beginning in Tampa predictions for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record coming into New Beginning in Tampa this year after our last New Japan Pro Wrestling event, which was the granddaddy of them all, Wrestle Kingdom 14 in the Tokyo Dome, we went a combined 10 and 10. So our overall record coming in is 376, 173, and 3. Now we are coming on a losing record after lose, having a losing record on night 2 of Wrestle Kingdom 14, so I'm looking to rebound and bounce back here. So hoping this video we will get back on the winning track. We're on a one pay-per-view losing streak. Hoping this video we will end that losing streak. Hopefully. Now this is the first video in a combined four video day on the channel today, guys. So I hope you guys will be able to watch all these videos. Always show your support on the channel by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons, hit that notification bell, commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now if this is your first time watching my channel today as a first time viewer and this is your first video, boy pick the goon if you're a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling like myself and you're ready for this first new beginning event in Tampa, Florida. Welcome to the Dangerous Lions. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Woo, woo, again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Starting off with the first matchup, it is a one on one showdown on one side. He is representing the young lines of the LA Dojo. He is Clark Connors. And his opponent is representing CMLL. He is Mysterioso. So, coming from me in this one on one showdown, I'm going to go with Mysterioso to defeat Clark Connors by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a tag team showdown. On one side, you have the Young Lions team of Alex Coughlin and Ren Narita. And their opponents, consisting of Satoshi Kojima and Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata. So coming from me in this tag team showdown, I'm going to go with the team of Yuji Nagata and Satoshi Kojima to defeat the team of Alex Coughlin and Ren Narita by any means. And now the next matchup, it is another tag team showdown. On one side, you have the 2019 Young Lions Cup winner, Carl Fredericks, and his partner, the very first WWE Cruiserweight Champion, he is TJP. And their opponents, consisting of first, he is representing Chaos, and he is the Sublime Master Thief, Toriyanu. And his partner is the former NWA National Champion, a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, he is Colt Boom Boom Cabana. So coming from me in this tag team showdown... I'm excited to see Yano and Cabana tag team again. Their run in World Tag League was really good this uh, last year. So I'm excited to see what they can bring to 2020 this year when it comes to tag team uh, shenanigans. So coming from me, I'm going to go with the team of Toriyanu and Colt Boom Boom Cabana to defeat the team of Carl Fredericks and TJP by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is also representing the LA Dojo. He is Alex Zane. And his opponent is the former Ring of Honor television champion, the former PWG heavyweight champion, and a former never openweight champion. He is the Hawaiian juggernaut himself, Jeff Cobb. Now, Alex Zane just made his Ring of Honor debut at Honor Reign Supreme in Concord, North Carolina, but he is back for New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he's looking to get his biggest win of his career. There is how you have Jeff Cobb coming off his very rough 2019 in Ring of Honor, and hopefully he will uh, sign with New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2020 because I really think his career will definitely skyrocket in New Japan Pro Wrestling other than his miserable run in Ring of Honor, only having two opportunities at the Ring of Honor World title in a pop, in a lose-lose situation. So hopefully Jeff Cobb will leave Ring of Honor and come to New Japan Pro Wrestling because I think his, his star power will definitely go up if he comes. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown... I think Alex Zane is going to be taking a rough tour of the island. So coming from me, I'm going to go with the Hawaiian juggernaut Jeff Cobb to defeat Alex Zane by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is representing Chaos, and he is Headhunter Yoshihashi or Tacos. And his opponent is representing Suzuki Gun Ichiban, and he is the former... IWGP United States Champion, and if you know his music, making its theme debut on the channel, you'll know who I'm talking about.
He is Murderhawk Monster Lance Archer. Now, starting off with Yoshihashi first, he's looking to start off 2020 with a big one-on-one -on -one victory because really his 2019 was as bad as his last couple years in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's still in chaos. He hasn't branched out and done anything different, but he's looking to start off 2020 with quite possibly his biggest win one-on-one, -on -one, but it ain't going to be easy. There is how you have Lance Archer coming off his loss of the IWGP United States title to John Moxley on night one of Wrestle Kingdom 14 in that Texas death match. So you already know, Yoshiashi is facing a pissed off Lance Archer, a Lance Archer who only had a three-month reign with the IWGP United States Championship, which in my opinion was the wrong call to have him lose because Really, you only gave him a three-month title reign just to have him lose to a guy who's not even part of New Japan Pro Wrestling and John Moxley. Very stupid call by New Japan Pro Wrestling, in my, in my opinion, because I like Lance Archer, and he's busted his ass in New Japan Pro Wrestling for nearly eight years, and he deserved more than a three-month title reign with the U.S. title. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown between Chaos and Suzuki Gun. You better get a tombstone ready for Yoshihashi because everybody dies to the EBD claw. So coming from me, I'm going to go with Murderhawk Monster Lance Archer to rebound and bounce back and defeat Yoshihashi by any means. And now the main event. It is a 10-man elimination match on one side. First, he is representing Chaos and he is a former eight-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. He is the manager of the new four-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, Rapungi 3K. He is the king of sneaky style, Rocky Romero. Next, he is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the New Japan Cup, Best of Super Juniors, and the G1. He is the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion. He is one half of the Golden Lovers, and if you know his music, You'll know who I'm talking about, and he is Kane Gaming's favorite wrestler. Golden Star, Ibushi Kota! Next, you have the former and the only eight-time IWGP heavyweight champion. He is indeed the ace of the universe, and if you know his music, his old music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Hiroshi Tanahashi, and finally, you have the new IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, consisting of the fourth generation David Finley and the former two-time IWGP United States Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the flamboyant one, Juice Robinson, and they are Finn Juice and their opponents, all representing the cutthroat era of... Bullet Club. Four, 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 four. Consisting of Master Hita Jado, Bullet Club's one and true crown jewel, Chase Owens, the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi, and the former five-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the best tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling in my opinion, and if you know their music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Game of 
nobody really than Gorilla. Ain't nobody really than Gorilla. Consisting of the silverback, Tongaloa, and the good bad guy, Tamatonga, the Gorillas of Destiny, or God. Now, the rules of this 10-man elimination matchup is simple. The only way you can eliminate your opponent is by pinfall, submission, disqualification, countout, or you throw your opponent over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. It's like New Japan's version of the Royal Rumble. Now, this 10-man tag, tag this 10-man elimination tag match has a lot of momentum at stake during this new beginning tour. Because during this do, new beginning tour, G.O.D. will go after the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, Finn Juice, on the final night in Atlanta. We're also going to see the ace team of Go Golden Star Kota Bushi and Hiroshi Tanahashi face G.O.D. in in Miami. We're also going to see Tanahashi versus Yujiro, Kota versus. Uh, Chase Owens. So this matchup is definitely big to start off this new beginning tour for New Japan Pro Wrestling. So coming from me, in this 10-man elimination main event matchup, I think we know who the weakest link is on Bullet Club, and that's Jado. No offense to Mastahita and possibly Chase Owens. No offense to the Crown Jewel of Bullet Club. But coming from me, I'm going to go with the team of Rocky Romero, Golden Star, Kota Ibushi, the Ace of the Universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Finn Juice to defeat the Bullet Club squad of Jado, Chase Owens, Yujiro Takahashi, and G.O.D. by any means. And those are my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New Beginning in Tampa 2020 predictions. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you have winning this 10-man elimination main event matchup between Rocky's crew and Bullet Club? Let me know who you got between Yoshihashi and Lance Archer. And what do you see happening during this New Beginning tour that will get you interested in New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2020? Let me know in the comment section below all your picks and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and, of course, reply right back to you because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. And I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later today for my New Japan Pro Wrestling's new beginning in Nashville 2020 predictions. Later days, guys. And peace.